Hi guys, I'm Anisha Gupta and the spotlight today is on sugar where we have seen the price surge quite strong. Actually, if you look at the last one week, every single day we've seen the sugar prices surge higher. It's trading at a four year highs right now and we have seen 19 cents per pound being taken out on the charts as well. But the point is, is sugar a good buy from here? Is the sugar price expected to go higher from here as well? Well, on fundamentals and technical charts, the answer really seems to be yes. We are looking at sugar prices up by nearly 26 percent in this year until now and when you look at the last 16 months barring two months where sugar gave you a negative return the other 14 months have been on the positive side for sugar and the expectation is that we could be looking at stronger prices for next 12 to 18 months as well for sugar the fundamentals let's talk about that first and we are looking at the brazil crop on the weaker side after a worse drought in last 60 years Brazil is now facing a winter and a frost on the crops and that could that has led to some damage. In the month of July itself, we have seen the yields decline by nearly 17% per, uh, per hectare and that really has supported the sugar prices there. The markets do believe that going forward as well with the kind of crop that we are looking at in Brazil, with the kind of weather that we are looking at in Brazil, the next couple of crops also could see a bit of an impact from there. That clearly has been supportive. There also is a report from Fitch which says that uh, the price forecast for this year and the next seems to be on the positive side here. And when you look at the Indian markets, well, we are looking at, we are standing at a very advantageous position right now. Even without export subsidy, which has expired after 6 million tons, uh, India is looking at a strong figure of 7 million tons of an export, which is a record for this year. And the expectations are that for the next year as well, 6 to 7 million tons of export is what perhaps you could see. The other important factor clearly has been the rising biofuel capacity in India. So these are two major factors that the international players also are watching out for. One, Indian exports, which are by no means cheap. So Indian exports also are expensive. And then the huge, huge biodiesel, biofuel story that India has right now is supportive for the sugar prices and the sugar industry here as well. So the international markets have two, two things to see. One, Brazil crop, which isn't so great. And two, Indian exports, which are on the expensive side, that will continue to keep the prices on the higher side. Also, when you look at the technicals, uh, we are looking at 19 a cent right now. And the expectation is that if we see 2021 kind of levels breach on the charts, then an all time high of sugar that was last seen in October 2016 at around 23.9 is perhaps where we are headed. So we are already at 19.5 and 23.9 is an all time highs and the markets are watching that out on charts. A couple of other reports that you could keep an eye on. One is from Wilmar, which says that the Brazil crop this time around is estimated at a 28 million tons, which is much lower, nearly 10 to 10% lower than last year, that would be supportive. And then another report from Stonex which says that the global supply balance could be looking at a 1 million ton deficit this time around. In the month of May, the markets were working with 1.5 million tons of a surplus in the international markets and that really seems to have turned around at this point in time. So as I said, it's going to be weather and India that the markets are watching out for. Another very interesting report that has come in from OECD and FAO Agriculture Outlook for 2021-2030 says that going forward while we are looking at higher supplies from India and Brazil both, but the consumption also is expected to continue to gain up. So uh, the world sugar gain production will gain up by 1% per annum until 2030. Within this, we are looking at India at 35.6 million tons by 2030 and Brazil at around 41 million tons by, the, by that time. As well. So, when you look at the overall global sugar output by 2030, that is expected to be at around 19, 1960 million tons. So, the markets do believe that while the production will increase, the consumption will increase as well. And the fact that the next couple of years are going to be difficult for the sugar industry in sense of production, that means that this is a space that could continue to be sweet for the next couple of years too.